Good day, everyone. My name is Paul Fayam. I'm a PhD student at the University of Montreal under the supervision of Sébastien Sauvé in the chemistry department. Today, I'll be pre presenting to you my poster, the online SPE LC EPCI MSMS method for termination of steroid hormones in water. So why are these compounds important here? It's because we know that they have a, an effect here on wildlife and human reproductive physiology. These are known impacts of these types of compounds, which are endocrine disrupting compounds. We have the structures here of these of eight steroid hormones we'll be studying today in affluent wastewater. We have the estrogens, and we also have four progestogens, so four in each family. And we'll be analyzing these by the online SPE method. So here you have the, you have the picture of the online SPE method. We have here the injection loop. It's a 10 ml injection loop here. We also have our SP online cartridges. So the idea is to actually get a volume here from our sampler. So we pick up a volume here directly. We go into the loop here, into the 10 ml loop. We fill this loop. And by back flushing with the LC pump, we're able to, to bring our wastewater into the SP cartridge where we concentrate our analytes here. Once that's done, we have our MS pump that will actually pump, do a back flush, and pump our analytes out of the SP cartridges, go towards the analytical column, have separation, and then go towards the detector, which is the triple quad here. Here we're using the thermal TSU quantum triple quad to analyze our compounds. The columns here that we're using are hypercell gold 1.9 micron, 100 times 2.1. We have two loading columns in tandem. I will show you why here we're actually using two tandem uh, SP columns. So we're trying to get a higher volume of, of, of loading here to lower our emissive detection. So we have two hypercell gold AQ columns here, 20 by 2.1 millimeters. So here you have the different MSMS parameters that you, we're using. So we have the precursor ions, also the product ions. We're working in positive mode, APCI. And these are the different uh, fragments that we use to quantify and also to confirm the presence of our hormones in, in this wastewater affluent. So the first thing is we're trying to actually optimize different uh, parameters of the SP online. The first thing we looked at is actually the loading volume because this will be important in actually getting lower limits of detection. So what we did here is we actually we actually injected a fixed concentration, 200 nanograms per liter, and it went from 1 ml to 20 ml injection. And once we saw that the curve was not linear anymore, we had breakthrough. So in our case here, and this has only been allowed because of using the tandem SPE method here, we're actually able to inject 10 ml. And the other interesting thing here is if you look at signal to noise, in this case, signal to noise keeps rising here with rising volume. So this shows us that there actually is a difference between the peak height of our compounds and the noise here. So that's very interesting also, so we have to look at it also. The other parameter that's very important here, especially for SP online, is the speed at which we're gonna be loading our SP cartridges. So as you can see here in figure three, we're actually using 500 to 4,000 microliters a minute. And you can see the tandem SP method here, our concentrations, this is absolute area here on the y-axis. It stays constant throughout the use of different uh, speeds here. That means that we actually load at 3,500 microliters a minute with no issues or breakthrough. We also did the normal validation parameters. What we did here is we also validate the different uh, matrix effect by using calibration curves, by actually uh, dividing the slopes here, we're able to see. So we're dividing slopes for hormones uh, tested in HPLC water and also in wastewater affluent. So these two here, the red is in the wastewater, the, the green is in the clean water, in the cleaner water actually, in the HPLC water. And by dividing those slopes here, we have matrix effect. So here you have the summary of the uh, matrix effect here. So anything over 100 is, is a signal enhancement. Anything under 100 here is matrix suppression. So in general, we have some suppression and we have a few uh, compounds here, especially for the estrogens where we have some kind of enhancement, but the bar errors are also pretty high. So here we have the traditional method validation also here. So we did all the, with all the methods, we have all the calibration curve are squared the different QCs that we use, and you see the RSDs are very good here, if you look at these later on. And we have the LODs here, I want you to look at also your LODs here in affluent, so affluent wastewater is between 31 and 102 nanograms per liter, whereas in uh, cleaner water, so HPLC type water, we have between 11 and 32 nanograms per liter. We also tested recovery, so recovery is important. Why is it important? Because if we have more compounds going into the system, more mass, we can, we can lower our limits of detection, so we're trying to get 100% recovery if we can. In figure six here, which you can see is the recovery values, tested two different methods here, and also at two different concentrations. Globally, what happens here is that for recoveries between 65 and 100 for different compounds, with the estrogens having a bit less recovery than the progesterone, which is expected because of their, they're slightly more polar than the other compounds there that we're studying. 
And also here what I'd like to show you is the chromatogram of our compounds. So here the idea is to show you how we were able to get our peaks actually separated from the matrix effect. So here in the back you have superimposed chromatograms of our blank, which is not, uh, no gray areas here. And we have our peaks that are in gray here. And just to show you the difference here, and now we're able to move in our chromatography, is actually to be able to move our peaks from the, the matrix, allowing for less uh, interferences and less, and less suppression for our compounds here. So we're happy with that here. So in conclusion, I would like to, uh, I would like to say we actually, we actually developed a fast and sensitive method for the determination of eight steroid, steroid hormones in a wastewater and different water matrices if needed. We have very good values for the validation, good RSDs, good reproducibility. We're able to inject from one to 10 ml. And also what's interesting here, the time of the method here, we have about 10 minutes per sample. So we're very happy with that time. And bear in mind that the interesting thing here is that we're higher throughput than the offline SP method. And also here we're able to reuse these cartridges to about, in this case, in our case, about 250 times. So this is a reusable, it's less labor intensive also. So on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. If you need more information, please go to thermoscientific.com slash ASMS. Thank you all.